depth are, we're gonna need one thing pixel measurements. We need to know the surface area of Freddy's teeth so that we can figure out how much force minimum those teeth are delivering. Now, obviously, we're gonna have to approximate a bit since the game contains no real measurements to go off of, so instead I started with Freddy's face. It's an easter egg I never really addressed in the theories, but way back in vanilla FNAF 1, lots of theorists were talking about an oddly shaped smudge on Freddy's face. This smudge is in the shape of a handprint. Now granted, it isn't a golden suit, but as we see in that game, the two are comparable in size. Given that the average human hand is about 18.89 centimeters long, we can use this handprint to scale everything else. Freddy's head then is 32 centimeters wide, or about twice as wide as an adult human's head, which makes a lot of sense. He needs something big enough to serve as a costume. Now using a combination of images from different angles, we can use this to determine the dimensions of one tooth, which comes to 1.5 four square centimeters. It looks like he was bitten with eight teeth, four on the top and four on the bottom. This gives us a total surface area of 11.26 square centimeters. So using the power of math, we can use this figure to determine how much force each tooth is biting down with. And that number is bone chilling. 14,758 newtons. Why is that a bone chilling number? Because that's the strength that a full grown crocodile bites with. It's almost the strength of a great white shark bite. In